गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज प्रैक्टिकल नंबर वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इंजीनियरिंग मेटेलर्जी दैट इज रॉकवेल हार्डनेस टेस्ट आई एम वर्षा पाटिल प्रेजेंटिंग दीपीटीज ऑन प्रैक्टिकल नंबर वन दैट इज रॉकवेल हार्डनेस टेस्ट कंटेंट ऑफ दिस पीपीटीज आर ऑब्जेक्टिव मीन्स वॉट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल रिक्वायर्ड एपरेटस थेरी फिगर ऑफ द मशीन working and principal data table and result discussion and conclusion objective of the practical is to determine the rockwell hardness number of the various metal specimen second objective is to develop an understanding of suitable scale for the hardness test specimen required apparatus 10 kg rockwell hardness testing machine cast iron material these are the specimens on which we are going to test hardness cast iron brass copper aluminum and the indenter that is diamond cone head indenter and 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter now why the name is rockwell hardness actually the huge hawk rockwell and stanley rockwell received a patent of the rockwell hardness tester on february 11 1990 so a device measuring of the resistance of metallic material force is called as hardness and that machine is machine is patent on the name of these both scientists so the machine is called as rockwell hardness testing machine now theory of this practical is what is hardness basically hardness is resistance to plastic deformation plastic permanent deformation and this deformation is may be in the form of scratch or in the form of ident uh, indentation or in the form of cutting something there is a direct connection between hardness and few other mechanical properties so by knowing the hardness number we can find find out the tensile strength of the specimen in this experiment we measured the average hardness number of the following material like cast iron brass copper and aluminum this is the figure in this figure there are some parameters that is h small h p small d material 1 and material 2 is given in the both figure the ball having diamond diameter of the small d in the indenter which is pressed against the piece of the metal for the same load p the indentation we will differ different for the soft and hard material for the above case h1 and h2 that is h2 is less than h1 that is mat that is mat 2 means material 2 is harder than material 1 indentation depends upon the load p indenter diameter time during which load is applied that is small t and hardness of the material that is capital h if p small d and small t are kept constant then its function of the hardness only now this is the picture real view of the rockwell hardness testing machine that is the rockwell hardness testing machine is made up of anvil dial indenter lever weight calibrated weight major load minor load and loading pistol and unloading lever and load level now description of this practical the machine body is a shell leather where the parts are filled directly indirectly into the machine body the total force is comprised of the main test plus primary test force is produced by the weight of the parts including larger level lever and main shaft the top end face 
पेनिट्रेटर बियर्स द टोटल टेस्ट फोर्स शार्पनिंग शार्प टीप पेनिट्रेट्स इन टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट टू बी टेस्टेड मीन्स पेसिल द लोड चेंज ओवर हैंडल रेग्युलेट पोजिशन वेटिंग चेंज ओवर सपोर्ट्स ब्रैकेट रिजल्टिंग द डिफरंट कॉम्परेशन ऑफ द वेट द लोडिंग हैंडल इज अप्लाय मेन टेस्ट फोर्स द अनलोडिंग हैंडल कैन बी पुश बैक टू रिमूव द मेन टेस्ट फोर्स the value can be read directly from the dial indicator the specimen supports mechanism includes the workable elevation screw and hard wheel where it is used for bearing hardness block and the part tested now principle there are four principle working principle of this practical that is first is selecting the head and test block hardness hardness test and hard alloy like cast iron were tested in the rockwell scale c using the diamond cone as head and 150 kg major load brass was tested in the 10 b scale using 1 upon 16 inches ball head indenter and 100 kg major load copper was tested in f scale using 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter as a head and 60 kg major load and aluminium was tested in h scale using 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter head and 16 kg major load working working principle in the same topic second principle is setting up the tester means the head was placed in the holding the chuck and workbench was also put in the anvil third is apply the minor load to apply the minor load the hand wheel was turning slowly during the indenter can line mark set fourth principle is applying the major load after minor load an additional load was applied to reach the total required test load this force was held for predetermined amount of the time to allow the elastic recovery the major load is then released and final position was measured against the position delivered from the minor load the indication depth vary varies between the pre load and ma- minor load and major load values this distance is converted to hardness number now this is the data which we collect by after the t- after the testing that is cast iron for the cast iron major load is 150 minor load is 10 and the head indenter is diamond cone and the hardness number is 40 and we took the scale uh, scale of c that is 40.667 hrc hrc is a hardness rockwell number for the grade c and the hardness number is 40.667 for the cast iron same for the brass 100 kg is a major load minor load is fixed for all that is 10 kg and 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter is used and the readings are 31 and the uh, scale is taken b so the reading are 31 means average of this we we will take three reading for same material we will took the average that is 31.33 hrb for copper 60 kg is a minor major load 10 kg is a minor load 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter we took for the indentation and the readings are 18 18 and 17 if we took the average that is 17.67 and reading as we discussed earlier earlier that is the reading will take for f for the copper now aluminium has the major load 60 10 kg minor load 1 upon 8 inches or 1 upon 10 inches ball indenter we took for the test 21 20 and 20 are the reading and average of this is 20.33 hrh 
this rockwell hardness number 20.33 for the h reading right and what is the result for all above mentioned metals are average hardness number of the cast iron is 40.667 hrc average hardness number of brass is 31.33 hrb and average hardness number for the copper is 17.67 hrf and average hardness number of aluminium is 20.33 hrh and if we discuss about it an analog machine has drawback since the reading were taken manually accuracy wasn't ensured the weight scale was positioned at the higher level unlike the dial gauge which may have result in a more error the 1 upon 8 inches ball indenter was unable unavailable wasn't available so 1 upon 16 inches ball indenter used instead of it the specimen was old and re reuse for time time to time which we which may result in a slight changes of the hardness property the conclusion of this rockwell hardness testing is the uh, the rockwell hardness number of the given specimen cast iron brass copper aluminium were determined by this experiment the specimen was differentiated according to their hardness scale obtained by experiment this scale is good parameter for the material selection with the suitable loading for construction of the different object thank you